Hey everybody, and welcome back to Chilliwack, British Columbia, in our multiplayer game server. We have completed a year. An entire year has gone by, and I am still struggling to make money. But we're going to solve that problem today. We're going to go so far in debt, we will not have any idea where the end of the tunnel is. And, well, at that point... Maybe we'll start earning a little bit of cash. Waylon, welcome. Thank you for being first in chat. First with the comments. Always up there early with the live stream. We have added a boatload of mods this week. And one of those is going to let us take out a $10 million loan. How's everybody's weekend been going? Today is Sunday. I've got four, well, three and a half more days of work until I'm done for the year. So looking forward to that. How about you all? When does your break start? We have done some expansion since the last time we were on. We're going to expand a whole, whole lot more. At the top of the hour. Super Buffo, what is up? We're going to be expanding out our biogas plant so we can process through more silage, make more methane, earn more money, make more digestate. We've expanded into the straw processing factory where we are making artisan straw hats and baskets for all the city folk. We've also started making pancakes with our maple syrup. As such, we needed flour. Nobody owned the flour mill. I decided to put one down myself. So we're making flour for our pancakes. We're also buying in butter. Simper, I need to buy some butter off of you. We're buying in milk. We gotta buy in um, eggs also for our pancakes. Going through another full cutting of grass. I made bales this time because I was trying to find a way to get make some fast cash. And, uh, well, we're still waiting for some of them to ferment. So, not so fast of cash there as it turns out. Uh, Elvis, if you're getting kicked out, well, then it's probably your network connection. That's about all I can say. Is if you're playing, then suddenly you're not. That's likely the network connection. When you're in a server and you look at the little mini-map, there are a couple little numbers at the very top of the circle mini-map or in the bottom right of the square mini-map. And it'll say some numbers and then MS. That is your ping rate back to the server. You want that to be as low as possible. If it's flying all over the place, that means you've got some sporadic network connectivity issues going on there. If it's yellow or red, that is very bad. That means that you have a rather slow connection back to the server. Again, possibly either a result of the data center you selected or your network connection in general. I'm working around the teens to low 20s. That is an outstanding connection rate. I would say probably anything other lower than 50 is okay. Anything between 50 and 100 is marginal. Over 100 consistently, that's going to lead to a less than desirable experience just in the way of just the game feeling a little laggy. 
because 100 milliseconds is basically one second. So that's what I would check. Are you wired or wireless? If you are wireless, can you be wired? What is your response rate to the server typically? I'm collecting straw off of this massive field. I leased this field. We harvested it wheat, sold some wheat off to some of our farmers for some quick cash. We've also took the wheat to our flour mill. We're going to be using our straw for our straw processing for our artisan craft work. We're going to have to put down a silo to store the rest of the straw because I certainly don't have enough to. Uh, Enough room in the factory to hold all this. And then we're going to try to flip this back into wheat. I've got to fertilize all my grass fields. I've got another small wheat field back there by the sheep. I need to get into grass. We're going to put more sheep pens down. We're going to build out more of the BGA. And we might dive into uh, another production element. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Elvis, ideally, if you can be wired, wired is always the best route to go. But if your if your pin connections are all over the place, it's either either your your um, your network connection saturated. I don't know what your network connections like. If you've got a lot of people on the on the home network that are. They're also, you know, downloading things, streaming videos and such. You may be getting up there close to saturating your network speed. What type of network internet connection you have. But in general, if you're getting kicked off, then it's most likely you've got spotty, sporadic, inconsistent network connectivity. The grass on this map is really interesting. I really like it, actually. It's a really tall grass when it's fully grown. Mr. Jeter, what is up? Jacer, Goldeneye, how does it all go? The server's been rather popular. We've got nine people on here. Nine different farms, all doing their own thing. This 4X map is perfect for that because, well, lots of fields, lots of area to roam around, lots of areas to expand. No one's really encroaching on anyone else at this point. I've got butter for you. Three pallets. Three whole pallets. 2,000. Yeah, where do you want it? Uh, there behind the... Behind the... Yeah. How much you want for it again? Well, it's 3,000, 1,000 each. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Do you want me to put it in there? Uh, in the back here? Sure. Thank you. Oh, we're out of, we're, we're full on straw. Okay, we gotta park this. Sometimes, sometimes downloading off the servers <coughs> is just slow. So it could be that, uh, could be that the server host is, is just throttled, uh, outbound traffic for, for something like that. No, it's Pretty hard good. to hard to believe we got 21.6 hours on this tractor. This was the very first tractor we picked up. Actually, no, we we picked up the the, uh, the bigger tractor. This was the first thing we leased. Hey everybody, 
everybody, welcome back to uh, Chilliwack, British Columbia. We're at the top of the hour. We are go time for our full on live stream. As I was saying right before the title, hard to believe we got 21.6 hours on this tractor. Just all been leased hours. We're going to take out a loan and we're going to basically turn in all of our leased equipment that we use on a regular basis and. Uh, we're going to over to own equipment. We're going to expand our BGA. We're going to possibly build out a secondary yard over here across the street. We're going to buy some land and uh, hopefully position ourselves to make more and more money. But to do that, we got to have money to make money. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. Like for example, Jay, sir, I downloaded all the mods off of this server via FTP on my office system after I updated the mods earlier today, and that was very, very fast. Then, later in the morning, I went to my gaming system, downloaded them all via FTP again, and that was very, very, very slow. Same connection. Sometimes it's the black magic of the internet. Uh, we're going to build out two more of those pens. It's going to look absolutely fabulous. Going forward, I'll buy all the butter that you make. Yeah, no problem. It's churning right now. I've got 200,000 liters of digestate, but I was thinking about flapping down that digestate to fertilizer mod and yeah. making digestate into fertilizer and then having that. Okay. It's a new mod you just downloaded? Yeah. Yeah, somebody requested it. Okay. We get done this I'm gonna go and uh, I want to run this tractor to 22.9 hours then we're gonna trade it in then we're gonna get ourselves a uh, we're gonna buy it this has been a very very useful tractor but part of this job is going to be try to minimize our loan our lease costs at this point because we're going to be maximizing our loan cost. We got to turn that flatbed trailer in. I'm not happy with how it auto loads. I need a different trailer that auto loads better. Dwayne's going to go bring us some lunch. Tonight we're going to be running a Sunday night convoy night, delivering gifts of cheer and merriment in American Truck Simulator. So you don't want to miss that. Check out this grass. Isn't this awesome? This fully grown grass. Be right back. I 
Oh, GoldenEye, they speak English. But they seem to be a, um, a jokerish bunch. I think they'll play lots of practical jokes on you. Oh, I might have some blue moons. They're, uh, they're a jacer. And speaking of merriment, this video is brought to you by Calgon Comp Gamer and Chris Miller. Thank you for being farm barons. Oh, hog of five, what's up? Welcome. Sorry for no live stream last night. We were traveling. We got in town right around 7.30 and there just was not time to get a thumbnail together and get everything set up for a live stream. So, took the evening off from live streaming, but I was on a server for quite a few hours getting things ready for today so you got a double dose of double dose of me today we're gonna be doing ATS tonight with at least some of the mayhem crew some seem to have taken the year off to spend time with with friends and family leads me to wonder what are we Chop Sue. But any rate, we'll only braid them a little bit. Another field we're gonna probably be leasing. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try leasing fields as opposed to buying fields. Just feels like to me that leasing the fields is gonna be a better cost option. have to wait and see oh of course you gotta you gotta have fun every so often right lumberjack how are you doing sir things have been going well oh, busy yesterday afternoon well yesterday entirely was busy Taking it somewhat easy today. Got to get ready to go back to work for another three and a half days. And then we will be done. Done until January. Ah, Avatar 2. I'd be curious to hear how that goes. I was looking the other day at uh, the movies, trying to figure out if there was anything worth spending movie theater money on for uh, me and the youngest to go. He's nine now. But I don't know. I don't think he's going to be into Avatar. I don't know, he might be. Interesting, he wanted to watch, he wanted to watch the movie Titanic. Something got him interested in the, the Titanic. Okay. 
Let's cut this off. Animals, sheep. 195. Hmm. Oh, I know why I picked this now. It's $8,000. Exactly why I picked that. Sing. Norm, thank you, sir, for your five month farm baron membership. I think this is technically crooked. Oh well. Oh, someone told me this the other day in chat. So let's try this. Start in the middle. Then we'll work this way. And well, then we'll work this way. Oh, look at that. I don't know who that was, but man, they were smarter than a cookie. Oh, we're colliding with what? What are we colliding with? Did you remove the Kubota passenger? Because uh, I don't have any jitters anymore in the cab. I did. Yeah, it shows. It was an experiment. Yeah, I don't have any jitter anymore. Oh, this is terrible. Alright, well, we'll figure that out. That. 
that. All right, there we go. Yeah, Mark was talking about it yesterday. He didn't seem like it was too big of a deal. He just had to change the strategy a little bit. Because you can always set the pin to not overload. And then you just keep up with it that way. Yeah, but I'm like pay money for selling them and I basically got nothing for them. All right, let's go take out some massive loan. I get going. Oh, what's the great mod pack? I don't know anything about that. Dwayne is in chat. What's up? Drive it staying back to the store. We're leasing both of these items. And my new bought process is uh, we're still going to need a cedar because now that we have our flour mill, we're going to need to be making flour, or making flour from wheat. I can sell wheat to a couple guys on the server that have chickens. So I'll also have an avenue to sell the crop that I don't use for flour. Oh, a pull behind harvester. Uh, other grape sprayer. Okay, that's cool. Is it going on the mod hub or is it going on like itch or somewhere else? Drop off our seed here. And we'll return both of these. Oh, shoot. I was hoping they'd show up in the sale area, but at any rate. It is fine. It is more than fine. That was a medium. Actually, that was a medium tractor, wasn't it? Can't buy anything until we go massively in debt. What am I thinking? If I could only, uh, you know, just say I want to take out a loan of a specific amount. As opposed to, you know, just having to hit space constantly. That would be super nice. Oh, cool. So it's already passed. It's just... He's just specified that he wants it to uh, release on a specific day. All right. Well, that's good enough for now. Dude's far. We're going to go with um, Vertistine Narrows. We're going to go with the Warrior Look. We want Headland Management. We want that. We want that. And that's what we want. Now let's get our Cedar back. See, did we add anything else interesting? Not interesting. So we'll go back with a rapid. Okay. We turned in our lease tractor, and we now own the same tractor.
we will grab our seed and uh, get back to the farm and start building out our BGA, expanding those operations. I think last week I uh, I took out the um, realistic cab view and the jitter I guess was still there so this week I thought I'd swap out the Kubota passenger extension yeah it works I didn't think too many people on the server were riding along anyway so Yes. <laughs> it was functionality that wasn't necessarily requested or needed, so. Did you pass along to the GX the issue? I did, although he couldn't replicate it. Interesting, um, because I, I have it also in my single player game. Yeah, so he was thinking it was a, a conflict between something else possible yeah. that may be related to interior view and that's where the suggestion of the realistic cab view came from um, that's why I took that one out first but that wasn't it so it's maybe something else yeah might be since I think that even his um, his death is bugged or there might be an issue of it something uh, I don't know if anyone else did notice but if you enter the isdev menu and once you close it you'll be below the ground you can't move unless you jump to a vehicle oh okay Ah, uh, I think I got, I think I updated that today too. Yeah. Then, then it might be fixed, but it, uh, it was the issue that I had in the last one. Not enough moolah, that's okay. Okay. Do that. And now let's see. We are making 2,000 and we're able to process not enough. Okay, yeah, we need to buy more of that, obviously. Let's borrow some more moolah. Uh, Mr. Giner says, is anybody on the server from Gat Gatlinu? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Apparently, Simper knows what that is. And agrees. Now we can put it down. Mr. Geners from here, from there, here too. 
Oh my gosh, I need more money than that. Oh, that's what he said. He's from here. Cool. So, four, three hundred, three, six, seven, twenty. It's going to make eight hundred. So, this is going to be just under five hundred. Two of those, it's going to make twelve hundred. Not yet. We're still best to put this in. one more yeah we need another one another seven hundred thousand dollars of debt please hold on oops yeah he says he, he lives there too so your neighbors yeah Bomdo, what is up? All right, that'll hold us for a little bit. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. 2603. 2054. Okay, everyone, I will buy all your manure and slurry. I've got a few in the manure. Eat. I don't know how much weight. I don't know why it's so jerky around there. While we're here, let's go back. While we're here. All right, this is slurry, manure, digestate. So we're going to take digestate and make solid fertilizer from that. So if I come back here and I just say distribute digestate, then it should send it to here. We'll see. Then I'll move a little bit of digestate over from the storage tank as we need. All right, let's go see how much slurry. You, th you think you have slurry or you have manure? Or you have both? I think I have both. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was good. Oh, I've got 8,000 liters around for manure and slurry 10,000. Tractor down. Tractor down. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're back.
Joel, that's indeed a boom we go. Let's go here to Pepper's farm. What do y'all think of the grass on the map? I kind of like it. Yeah, it's nice. The planted grass. Yeah. Cutting in right now. Mowing it right now. All right, 10,656. Do you remember what I told, we told, agreed on with the slurry price? I don't remember. All right, let me see. Check the price there and add 10% to maximum. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sure. Just Why not? me off. You're making the big bucks. I'm gonna dump it out on the ground now. You will, with that BGA. Yeah, it's 36, is it? Yeah. You want me to buy more cows? There. Right. Now buy a cow. Yeah. Sixty-five pound husky lab. Is that full grown? We've got a hundred plus pound uh, lab, but I think it's I think the uh, I think the mix is a um, an English stock and some type of fox, red fox lab or something. I don't know. He's a big boy. It's like 110, and it's all muscle and bone. It's not a good combination. Oh, you get a also. That's nice. Yeah, it's not. A, it's it's too big. He's too big. Why is it he, English? He's, um, 75 he's, pounds. He's too, too hyper. Oh, you got like three quarters of a dog. Ours yeah, is at least 110. Oh, 110, 110 that's, that's total huge. mass. Well, you saw the picture of her. Uh, I mean, it's in the a, chat there. Dog could drive ride on it. But yeah, he's hyper as all hell. How old is he? I don't know. Like mine is ten years, so she's uh, toned down a bit. Yeah, he's starting to get a little gray in the muzzle and stuff. Same here. She's gray. Well, I mean, overall, he's an okay dog. He's just too damn. Size. It's like calm yeah. down. 110 pounds, yes. <laughs> they usually tell you, you know, calm down around three years, labs. I mean, starting to, you know, be more, less, less crazy. Um. Oh, Dusty's got a hundred and forty 
pound plus mastiff. Why, wow, that's big dog. It's going. Park this here. And I talked about a field. We're going to have at least 148. Goodbye for 262. But I think I'm going to lease it because I can lease it for $1,300 a day after I spend 26. Done, son. That's got three fields on it. One of them's ready to harvest now. I'm mean, curious, what are your all strategies? Do you have you used the uh, the field lease mod? And overall, do you use it more to lease or not? Alright, I'm gonna come collect your poo. Dwayne! Oh, for the manure. I'm gonna yeah. come take your manure. Do you have slurry? I'll take that too. Uh, I guess also from my manure. Ah, oh, Dwayne says, take all my stinky poo. Yeah, of course. You've got the new mod you put in. I just looked at it. Uh, process uh, meat, cattle. Uh, yeah, that's what you all asked for. Y'all can make steaks. Speaking of that, so we had Christmas at my parents yesterday. Six and a half hour drive for a four hour stay. Oh, but, yeah. but anyway, the son got some some gifts, of course, and one of his. They, we like to get like this just one off gag gift, and his gag gift this year was a bunch of frozen steaks. And like he this. just cackled and cackled. He didn't understand at all what the heck was going on. My ass grandma was giving him like four packs of frozen steaks. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> was, that was hilarious. I was like, oh, well, what are we having for dinner tonight? One of your frozen steaks. Of course. <laughs> All right, 8,654 liters. Uh, and then how much price wise? We'll do the 40. Dwayne doesn't have any slurry, it seems. 300. I'll Burgess was doing sugar beet because, you know, I think she wanted me to buy some sugar beets. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you get milk from her yesterday? Yeah, I did, did right? I did. It was, it was like pulling teeth. <laughs> I was like, I want to buy your milk. Okay, I got this much milk. I'm like, name your price. And like, 
15 minutes well, later. She didn't I'll have a price. So oh, I'm yeah. like, okay, here. Here's my offer. <laughs> I can't buy milk unless I have a price. Yeah. So I think it was a bit of indecision on I don't know how to price it. Yeah. Well, my cows are going to get older and then I'll start producing more, producing more. Because that's the only thing I'm going to do right now, focusing on the cows. Yeah, but now, now I'll be making money over fists with the BGA, I can. I was a little worried the, the uh, pancake factory might not actually make money. Since I have to buy the milk in and I gotta buy the eggs in. The butter's cheap, but I didn't know how much yeah. I was gonna need of the milk and eggs. And I thought, well, I might, I might actually lose money on that. But now I can lose money because the BGA is going to be yeah. pumping it out now. So I put down the reversing bunker for manure because it's going to be a lot easier to haul in the manure on a trailer, dump into here. Wow, this is... full silage. So does this have any digestate yet? Not yet. The top of the hour, we'll see what happens. Gotta get rid of these silage bales. Dwayne and the bales are almost done fermenting. So the first ones you bought from me are almost 100%. I don't know if you want to buy these other ones or not. If not, I'll just get rid of them. Jay, sir, are you coming in to start your farm, or are you gonna you're gonna work for somebody? It's hard to believe we got nine farms. There's still room on the map. If you want to run your own. I mean, there's plenty of room on the map to stake out a, an area. You could probably fit another two, maybe three before we start maybe getting a little tight. Well, you we might get lag also at some point. <laughs> We should just rename Dwayne's farm to Schultz Modding's Mod. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, he's got a ton of cattle, though. 40 times... 40. $1,600. Uh, we are Mountain View Farms. And we want sixteen hundred. Oh, manure is heavy. Here's the way. Hey. 
Oh, okay, I guess the right farm name. Oh, M9, yeah, we, we crashed back there. Don't mind me driving over my oh, country. You see the factory, oh, I seen it got loaded in, but I haven't looked at it. No, I looked at it. Who, who's going to become the butcher? I don't know, $160,000. Put it down and sub points about $60,000. Holy cow. Maybe the. Uh, maybe the. Schultz sub point. Schultz sub point, yeah. Maybe the town needs to put down the sub point. Yeah, the town is rich. Yeah, the town could probably put down another sub point. There's also another thing that town should probably need to put down. Uh, I think the mod is in. Yeah, the molasses uh, cell point. But there's a couple, of cell, a couple of cell point needs to be put down, right? Not getting rich off that poo. Uh, me neither. The slurry the same. I know somebody is somebody getting somebody rich off is, the yeah. poo. Yeah, he's getting rich off poo. Yeah, of course. But he had to go in debt for three million. Now we'll see if it comes back. Oh, he'll make that up in a year. Well, I'm gonna I mean, put a, I'm gonna have to put a markup on it. It was forty dollars for rounded up from the best price. Well, when he starts making money, will increase the price of the poo and the slurry. Might have to just spread it on my field. It might give me better yields anyway. Yeah, just another dang step, though. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. I thought Jayster was supposed to be uh, Schultz's uh, replacement. Oh, yeah. Fired that other guy. Never came up to work. I never, he never showed up, so he never <laughs> shows up. He says, I'm going to come in and I'm going to work for you, and then he, he doesn't show up. <laughs> Got ghosted. Whipper snappers. Yeah, you could. You gonna put it there? Yeah, you can put it there. Lots of farmer market we put in. Uh, it says they buy meat. It does. Yeah. Good. What else? What else do we want to put in? I don't know. Uh, the molasses. What do you say, the Optimus? Yeah, the molasses sell by point actually. It's um, under silos. It's for that uh, heating plant mod. And you use that molasses for uh, the pallet quench or whatever it is? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe I put down the wrong meat plant then.
Yeah. Molasses. It's a cell point? I don't see listed. No, it's a silo. But you can buy the products in it and then transfer it to yourself with the trailer. It should be all the way at the end. Just one before. 10,000. The last after Meridian. Actually, the first after Meridian. Oh, it says pellet press. Yeah. Silo for molasses. All right, it's over here where all the other bulk buy stuff is. Yeah, just make sure it triggers. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, they're set up really tight to that, so. Welcome! Thank you for being caught up, M9. Thank you for being caught up. Uh, this is Mainstorm Manager. And then... The Dude's Far is... Remy, what's up? Okay, look out. Incoming. So I used the uh, Advanced Farm Manager mod because I looked it up eventually to see what it did. And I hotkeyed all my vehicles. So I don't have to tab now, I just hotkey to the ones I want. Oh, yeah. Time st um, The time saving stock check doesn't work for me. It's, yeah, I was seeing that. I don't know. I went to it once, it was black. I went to it again right afterwards and it was grayed out. Yeah. All right, so Jacer is is Dwayne's helper. That's what it sounds like. Since Schultz has ghosted him, I think he just needs to sell all Schultz mods. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's like a defiance thing. Fine, if you're not going to play with me, I'm not going to play with you either. The central, central meat cells, there's no, well, the triggers don't show. Um. Oh, we're going to need to do some uh, leveling here. Your contractor of the town, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay.
Oh, it says you are. Oh yeah, so I can leave and get in there, is that it? No, it says you're a contractor, so you should be able to see the triggers. Okay. Or the um I see the market you've been in, like there's a trigger, but uh the central meat sales I don't see any. Back. Okay. Uh, twenty thousand. So uh, that's eight hundred bucks. Oh, here we Thank you, Rami. It was functional. Functional trailer. Bailing up all of these. Oh, yeah. Yes, we Pretty should collect those enough. and do something with them. Uh, K71 something or 72 something. Oh, are you going to want these other silage bales or not just sell them off? Let's say like ferment. I'm going to pick up silage bales. Well, optimists can buy them then. I'm good for a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, I had 2,100 on them. That's a 14,000 liter bales. They're still fermenting, but... Okay. Oh, top of the hour changed. Let's see, do we have digested over here? We do! We do indeed. Nice. So now I can start pumping that out. There's some more digestate over there. I have solid fertilizer at some point. I'll sell it to you half price. You're gonna sell us half price? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what Optimus is doing for his seed, right? I don't even know what they paid for the seed. They sell fertilizer. It's pretty expensive now on the map. Um, what? Okay. I don't want to buy my lapses.
I'll try this later. Uh, it won't let me take digest data out of my storage tank. It keeps wanting to ask me if I want to buy molasses. Oh, that's a bug. Yeah. So that's hopefully, weird. Hopefully that won't be a permanent thing. I'll I'll leave after the stream's over and see if I can come back in if it doesn't or not. Yeah, I'll check if it's gonna work. We need a harvester. What do we got? What do we got? We used. Got ocular resting. We used. Oh yeah. Let's go with a big boy Ben. Which, which one is ugly, the massive person or the case? The case. Stuff? What's this? Hey, Dwayne, the um, baler is set to 125 centimeters. Is that what you want? I've never changed it. Uh, that's fine and, with me. And seeing that uh, the building is already set up with those in there. Perfect, no problem. Just want to double check. Oh, we need a nice header. more money. Dang it. Everything's automatic on that bader. It'll automatically stop. Where's the shop? The shop is. Oh, yeah. Use this. <clears throat> Point and go. Right here. Press Z to offload the veil if it's not already done. I got turned on. That's a really nice feature. Yeah. Oh, I guess, I guess I didn't have enough money to buy the harvester. I didn't even notice it. Engine. We want the biggest engine possible. We want duels. We want aftermarket spreader with straight stack. Sure. We want the long. Everybody likes the long pipe. That's a cheap harvest, right? Rabbit Rob, what is up, dear? Oh my god, what's happening at the store? Party. <laughs> Optimus is buying a little header. The Yanni B uh, one? Yeah. Let's see, is my pipe long enough? Barely. Oh, that big feel. Barely, baby. Barely. To go big or go home.
apparently the apparently it's the camera's a little high. Oh yeah. It's, it's not the rattle can as the other harvester. be multiples of these because yeah they're the same right the one i used over on um western wilds is a rattle can it rattled and shook and it's noisy and it's great oh yeah this one's kind of quiet so you're saying that one was more realistic than this one ah uh, i thought it was Closer to the trash that in real life it is. I mean, that's, that's the view you have, sure. Field 83 is what we bought. <clears throat> Why is this mark? I see someone's ready to harvest the corn. Uh, someone doing a contract that unloads in my flour mill. I have no contract on this. I never touched the contract. I don't know. I got an explanation on the flower mill. It's confusing. Close that. There we go. So we get three little fields out of this plot of land. We sell this house and extend uh, this field out to the street. And Albert probably has that contract out. His equipment is sitting over by the store. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. But he was not in this on this morning. I didn't see him. He may have. Inside the store? No, no, he's outside the on the field by the. Oh the yeah, field. okay, I saw that. Yeah, near the cornfield, ready to harvest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wouldn't make sense for my corn for corn to go into the flour mill, but okay. unfolding here. So while that's running, let's go up here and do a soil sample. And we now have no money. I think that truck is full, Jacer. 
Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent well, Where do you want it to go? Yeah, I got the auger set up in the yard. I don't know where it's going. Okay. Sorry about that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and lease that too. What is that? One forty seven. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we should have enough land. Eh, what are we? We're only like $3 million in debt now. 3.3 million. I'm only three and a half million dollars in debt now, so. Wow, that BGA will reduce that pretty quickly. Not a bad. One four point three million in debt. Four? Million? Yeah, four point three. Four hundred thousand and fifty for me. Oh, we might as well make it official. Three and a half million. There, now it's official. Who else is playing on uh, Chilliwack? And what other maps are you all playing on? Let me do uh, down in chat. Okay, so this is a little change of pace from all that forestry work. Yeah, Are you is. ready to just straight up farm? Um, trying to unload. Oh, please start to unload. And I've apparently forgotten how to unload. Hi. Hi. Yep. Hi. Yep. But it depends on the trader you're on. Auger? Do I need to start the auger? I've never had to. Can I? Nah, the auger just auto runs. It's like a belt. I had it set up, but then I've been noticing that things. Oh, spicy on. stapler! It's okay. It's okay. You gotta figure out what you like, right? I didn't think it made any difference, so I thought I was off sometimes. Uh, that, yeah, this camera view is off. Still went in. It's like, am I a giant? I mean, if we look. I mean, I guess it's right in line with where the guy is sitting at. Still. Oh. <laughs> what platform are you on, Spicy Stapler? What platform?
PC. Okay, go check out my mod review under my map playlist. We got over uh, nearly 170 maps there. You should hopefully find something you like. Right? If you're into European maps, if you're into American North maps, North. South American maps, Polish maps, yeah, forestry maps. The truck, so I've got to figure out something different on the trailer. I had the trailer selected. But it possible not. wilderness maps, kind of build your own farm out. Yeah, sometimes it needs a reset. Yeah, except for you just lose the grain that's in there then. Yeah. Maybe it's a key binding issue, possibly. Could be. I will, um... Could very easily be. It, it certainly didn't... Uh, it, it allowed the truck to dump, to dump no problem. So now we're going to try the trailer again. And I'll use a different... We're gonna have um, we're gonna be doing some map testing soon on a soon to be released map, hopefully. Uh, it's working. Don't know what I didn't do last time, but it's working fine. Did you detach the trailer and reattach it? That's probably what you did. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're in like Flint, making money. Never enough. Iowa Plains. Uh, the Ohio maps are rather popular. Ah, spicy stapler. That's all good. It all comes with time, right? all comes with time I'd say check out my how-to playlist cover the basics of farm sim gameplay Wiki Farms, there is a mod for that now. Extended extended animals. Something extended animals. We added that just this today on the server. It adds uh, multiple animal births and the opportunity for animal death to occur once animals reach a kind of a set old age depending on breed or depending on animal type. I did a new and noteworthy mod review on it, so go check that out. Uh, depending on the animal, there is different percentages for, uh, for multiple births. There is also uh, the concept of old age with respect to um, the different animals and each animal type has a different age to it. You press K, you're gonna see if he's full or not, I think. Yeah, uh, see on the screen. You can see on the screen with the vehicle inspector. Ah, oh, bombs it. Yeah, Seasons in 19 was a bit yeah, more sure. holistic. Fine. For sure. But we are seeing things drop here and there that bring some of that back. Wear on this harvester happens pretty fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, the grain hopper is already like down to bare metal. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think seasonal cycles in 22, you know, it has its purpose, it has its intent. Well, by next season, then it'll and be rusted through, and you'll have green spilling what, what out. What they of it. what they need to do, and what they're doing is they're trying to balance 
the overall gameplay the garbage coming from up to this with new features. So, I mean, it's not a really different, but it's new. Yeah, so. I can see where there's only so many things you can have toggleable on and off before Rust just the help. options become overwhelming. So they had to come up with some list of features to add and a little maybe oversimplification yeah. on those. Maybe put butter also. I'll buy butter. Not my butter. I'll not my butter. Parquet? Mark. Parquet. Where's the beef? Hey, that's the best one there. Can I do? No, I can't. <laughs> I love maps where you can paint a field. Uh, Ray, make sure you get the latest version of Chilliwack. The original release had an issue where the game would crash on exit, but he quickly updated that. Uh, Wiki Farms, you, I think you probably did. You probably heard the belt squeak, squeal. The thing I like about this map is the custom crop textures. We've got, we've got, um, Double destruction going on. Remember, folks, we're giving away four copies of the year two season pass during our new year's live stream explanation giveaway stream labs will pop up the gleam die link to enter to win as i said four copies of the year two season pass given away on december 31st during our new year's live stream at 11 59 p.m eastern It is open to PC players only simply because it will be redeemed as a Giants eShop code. It will be emailed the eShop code soon after the giveaway concludes. Uh, it's definitely not bad for a very first map attempt. That is, that is for sure. I love the ability that we can go here and literally sell anything and everything. I evict you. And now I can bring this field out to here. Uh, I think we'll be fine leaving this house here. Oh, something else I was gonna do. Is I was gonna build something out over here. I think I have an issue with my fertilizer. Is that me? Well, when I was putting lime down, I'm noticing this field too is low on lime, and the ones that I just limed yesterday conceded. They're also low on lime. You know, I said uh, I got, I did the whole field with him one more. Yeah. It happened to me when I plowed the last field. I did the lime and uh, everything, and then the next day it showed a uh, lack of uh, lime again. I saw that. Because I had lime to grass, and then when I was walking through the grass field, it was like it wasn't showing perfect. Like, I knew I limed it. 
So then I tried to lime it again and it didn't bump it up any. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think something with this weapon, precision farming, maybe. I think it worked before. Yeah, it takes on 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 and off. I know. Set my spreader to the store and see if I yeah, can. yeah, yeah. So, all right, so that's gonna hold straw. What else holds straw around here? No, no. 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 No, I'm not interested in that. They obviously don't hold straw. Barn was store no. No. Uh, I guess go back here. Hmm. What do we have that holds straw? Silo? There's a silo there. I mean, other than this hayloft. Well, hayloft, yes. Yeah, the grain crate from Mr. Bay will hold the silo. That's the only other thing. Is that where you can, like, also distribute from it? No, that's the other one. I didn't request that one. Oh, that one would be under productions then. Uh, we don't have that one? I don't think so. See, how many entries do we have so far? 79 entries. Your odds are pretty darn good at winning. 79, what? The 512X, what's that? Uh, Vernon, I rarely get excited for maps these days. I don't think I'm, I'm think excited for a map. Great Feet Pro. Oh, this one is Great Feet Storage. Alright. I thought somebody was talking about we had something that you could distribute from a silo, and I thought, well, if I then if I stuck straw in that and told it to distribute, then it goes straight to the straw place. And yeah, I wouldn't have to worry no, about I've it. I've got the uh, one that distributes actually silage to my. Um, actually, uh, the one that the farm production one should dis distribute. I think it takes straw. I never really looked into it. I know it takes grass, so I can convert to hay and silage. 
I know that. Just uh, that's the new new mod you brought in today, right? Yeah. Farm Productions. grand for it, that's all I know. I think field productions. Field productions, yeah, not for field productions. Ah, uh, where is that at? Is it under silos? Uh, it should be under productions. Do you believe that's where I found it earlier? Oh, uh, feed production. Feed production takes straw to make TMR. Oh, field. It's a big one for 100k. <laughs> I think that's what he's thinking about. Yeah, let's uh, Straw input, but then it probably makes poo out of it. Then I would have to buy your manure and you complain that I don't pay you enough for it. Let's double the price on the that you're in Surrey right now. <laughs> Almost cost money. And the straw that I have to give them. Yeah. Well, I got straw too if you need it. No, I'm bailing this one field that I'm going. I think that just about tops me up. Right now I'm trying to figure out where to store all this if I want to or not. What's 512X map? Been waiting for some really slow silage bales to ferment so that I can actually get rid of some straw. I can sell you mine for cheaper, I think, uh, loose silage. I don't know. I wasn't expecting them to take two months. Start getting it. I wonder if I was getting defective bales. Overpriced and defective. Overpriced. Oh my gosh. Did you buy them from Decline? Yep. And I just agreed to buy about the rest. Yeah. Well, you get 14,000 liters for 2100 bucks. Come on. 19 liters for me. How's that? How's that overpriced? Thousand bucks. Well, my mine is 19 19,000 liters for 3,000 bucks. Well, see, look, an extra an extra 5,000 liters for 800 dollars. That's that's a, that's gotta be a hundred percent gimmick. Wiki Farms. How much did you when you sell Hundred percent gimmick. Uh, silage bales. How much do you get from uh, the animal dealer? I don't know. I haven't sold any yet because they haven't made become silage yet. It's just catch twenty two. I think we'll know at that point. They are buying for hundred and sixty per thousand. So. Maybe yeah, yeah, you get yeah. 200 to 200 max price, let's say, per thousand, so. Yeah, that's about it. It was fairly quick work. What the heck? 
who would want to work on a 512x map. Oh, gimmick. You're gonna need helicopters to just fly to your field. I mean, there's, there is a point when, when there is just too much. Like 4x works fine on the big multiplayer. Like we're like we have what nine, ten farms now, so everybody actually has something to do, not fighting for the fields. The 16x might work if you would go for a big co-op 16 player farm but if, if you try to do a uh, small like farms like we do now on 16x it would just be way too much ah uh, the think the new Nebraska lands is supposed to be 16x to be more realistic in field sizes but yeah uh, at some point, it just becomes. I've been farming the same field for 13 hours and I'm still harvesting. Yeah. It's, it, it might be it might be something for the person that's willing to put 20 hours a day in because that's all they do. Or, or they want to. They want to course play the hell out of it and have 75 higher helpers all doing things. And... Okay, that's fine. Yeah. If you want to play logistics simulator, have... that's fine. It's kind of fun to have like four or five guys in the same field with the same kind of combines. Multiplayer that way. One farm. Yeah. Just one farm, they all have. Yeah. Yeah, that's but we, we kind of do that in the challenge and we did it on what one X map. <laughs> yeah. Like I can plant beets in one of my fields and everybody can come harvest them next time around and we still don't have enough guys on. That's that's a can beat it out. <laughs> Yeah, I said I might, it might start working on some rule proposals for the next challenge. I might try to organize something in February. It looks like a good map. And CCS might come up with his map out. Might be a nice one too play on it. I would think we'd have Emerald Coast by then. That's going to be a 4X. And then my guess is he's going to jump over to Nebraska. Which is plans to 16. There we go, we got our oats. Harvested. I guess we'll have to put down straw storage. So we can store the straw. I mean, 4x can be daunting already from driving one end of the map to the other. Um, I'm just going to put down bale storage. Can't imagine what Actually, would be too. I've got a baler. Long ways to travel. I'll just bale this straw up. Quite frankly. I heard a little bit about Hellhawk. We'll have to see when it shows up, right? Yeah, at that point, you just have to go with the unrealistic mods. Especially in the size and storage. 
Yeah. Not unless you make yeah. satellite farms, one on each side of the map, then it's not so bad. And some people like that. Like, I want to have a harvester that holds a million liters and has a hundred foot, hundred meter wide head or something. At that point, if you scaled your equipment up to the point where you're harvesting a 16x map as if it's normal size, then watch this use normal equipment on a normal size map. It's the same. Oh, Mark was giving me grief about having all this money and having a bus as my house, so. You mean that, that med out. lab bus? I have to change that out now for a nice log cabin. Oh, you did? No, I just saw my bus and I thought about it. Yeah, I said he's gonna come to see you soon. I just gotta make that now into a pickle truck. <laughs> I didn't think lime would make much of a difference, but I think I do notice a difference in yield. Yes, it does. Oh, just sell the met lab. Sold it. Come on, how? Where do we go? I don't know. I'm gonna have to put another one somewhere. I don't have any. I'll put it on mine. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, secretly hidden in a pancake house. Yeah. Maple flavored. Maple flavor, yes. Brand new for this year. <laughs> In one year, from bus to house. Then you had a double wide. Yeah. Not much of an improvement. Uh, I'm gonna put in the, uh, I'm gonna put in the, uh, hired help. Eventually we'll have hired help and maybe we'll have an apartment for them. Let's get into duplexes. I gotta charge rent. Look out, Samper. He's after your land to put residential housing on it. Come on. Killing a developer. You have to go through the city console. Yeah, he's got connections there, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I'm on the board. We're good. We're good. We're good. They're all addicted to my maple syrup. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. What else is in that maple syrup? I put syrup? a special ingredient in it. Matt, what's up? Fine, Kool Aid. Well, I know it's not the hometown grub special sauce because we haven't made any of that recently. Hmm. Now you're waiting for a special juicy machine? I'd have to think about putting one of those down. Oh, let's, let's hope this fits in my shed. Yay, a fit. Oh, you got a used Xbox One. That's great. 
Hope you got a good deal on it. This map just keeps throwing temptations at you. Yeah. You're harvesting your field, you're going, well, I've almost done this, and then you look across your field there to another field that's ready to harvest, and go, well, I could just lease that. <laughs> I've resisted that temptation now. There's just so many available plots. Have we been on this a week or two weeks? A week, I think, is it? Uh, more than a week? I don't know, actually. It's good for you. Week, I think. At least so you, we, start, we started last Wednesday, yeah. I think. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. I've looked at South Sask. I think that map was released over on a closed Facebook group. I don't re I don't do anything with maps that are released in Facebook groups that are not open to the uh, the general public for download. Lambda, yeah. Uh, we're using a field lease mod, yes. Oh, well, give me a baler and I will give you a dime. There's something weird going on. In the world or in the game? Definitely in the world, but in the game too. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. In the game? I'm driving with a harvester down the road. Yeah, it's a fall, but I didn't want to bring my the trailer down the field as uh, everything got into the harvester. So I'm bringing it back to the farm to dump yeah. it. And each time I got to, uh, I get to the electric pole, the harvester just gets pulled into it. Like there's some collision on the other side. But there is nothing yeah. on the other side. It's magnetic. Oh, I kind of noticed something to that nature. That may explain Maverick uh, wrap around poles and other stuff with his tractors. Yeah. Man, it doesn't look like there's... Maybe, maybe, I mean, not over here on this street, but maybe on some of the streets, the uh, collisions on the poles aren't lining up with the visual. I don't know, I looked at the F4s and nothing. And it's not one single, uh, one or two poles, it's every single pole. I don't know. 
Oh, I was driving something down. Oh, it was a fertilizer spreader. And it seemed like I was always having to counter steer. Uh, Matt, are you on PC? If you're on console, I don't know if that mod is out on console. It's probably a script. already off, that's fine. Don't have to worry about that. Why is our refill set? Oh yeah, like, oh, that's interesting. I'm out here in the middle of the field and if I hit R, I get to refill the molasses silo. <laughs> There's significantly a problem there. That's weird. So, yeah, after the stream, I'll exit and come back and see if... I am currently if... refilling the... silo with arm key. <laughs> Everybody's got molasses in that silo. <laughs> it's gonna be a sticky... multiplayer Wait. map. I would say it could be a sticky situation. <laughs> situation, yeah. I also like the molasses. Well, we can do barbecue sauce with tomatoes. You know, if you got some crappy hay, just throw some uh, molasses yeah. on top of it, the cows will eat it. Add honey on it. Make it stickier. I'm making 20,000 liter of straw bales if anybody wants them. Rob, what's up? I got a million myself, so that's okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take them. Get a special price for you, Rob. I couldn't bring myself to put straw in a silo. Decided I had to make make bales out of them. Then. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, what what do you want for the bales in Optimus, or what do you want to give for them? I don't know what you what you want. Just give me the price and. Glad, platinum. <laughs> oh, I got eight hundred dollars a bale. That's a twenty thousand liter bale. Sure. A little cheaper than gold, okay? Yeah, 
Canada. Oh, I don't know. I thought gas was more expensive than gold anyway. Uh, first time I saw gas under $3 was this weekend. Drove by gas. An Exxon, no doubt. It said two ninety five. dollars I almost floored. I was like, what? It's like, it's like they're giving it away. Then I realized that two ninety five, like a year ago, would have been like a high price. I'm like, oh, I guess it's really not yeah. that low. So you'll find the straw bales on field 20 and 83. And. Oh, he doesn't deliver, you have to pick up. Well, I can deliver eventually. <laughs> oh, and the silage bales are on field 19 and uh, 75. Just I'll have to buy a trailer. I've right. got one. I can get, I gotta get a trailer too, so either way, either way. Do you ever have a trailer, Simper? Yeah. Do you have a baler? I've got a baler. You mean uh Yeah, I've got a baler also. I'm using it right now. I'm bailing them up. They'll be bailed. Yeah, but I have a field that I only need bailed to, so uh -huh, okay. Well, you can use this baler too if you want. Well, you can use the one from Klein or mine after if you want. Well, if you want to earn some money, you can come and bail if not, I'll pick it up later. Yeah, for me, it's going to be uh, one of my last presence for a while or maybe a bit tonight and after that I'm gone for a couple of days oh on a trip Christmas trip and yes. a little rocket ship Gener being funny. Baylor, I barely know her, yes. Uh should be like fifty-two silage bales. So I think I made about a hundred of them. I think Dwayne bought forty-eight. I don't know how many straw bales I have here in a little bit. Well, that Vermeer baler count is 818 bales on life. Wow, you've been bailing a crazy amount. Uh, are you using that small one? Yes, I do. I've got yeah. the, I've got the selectable bail capacity fast bailer. The Vermeer is pretty fast. I started with the small bales and then I stick with it. Well, if you're using them to like make make mixed rations, then I think that makes more sense. Yeah, I'm using that little shredder from Vermeer also. Vermeer also. Bale shredders. Well, that baler is fairly cheap too. I think.
sure we're going remotely straight. I want to check this again. That's working. They're working. Parameter. Um. Yeah. Okay. The bunkers. We had a manure. This field didn't look that big until you see all the bales that are on it. All right. <laughs> They're working. Need to add water for you soon. You're out of digesting. Combine's also a thirsty girl. What kind of combine you got? You are this? 70, no, no, it's the case, not 7150. Oh, yeah. Filled it up before I... Well, so, filled it up after our first round. and Did you do the maintenance on it? Well, it needs it again. Yeah, because it consumes more. One thousand liters, nineteen hundred. One thousand liters, eighteen twenty. Two thousand twenty-eight twenty. Point seventy per. Point in the seventy cents per thousand. Wait a minute. Backwards. 20, 20, 28, 20. Uh, 2000. 141. There you go. $1.41 per thousand liters. Or per liter of solid fertilizer. Uh, how about I sell solid fertilizer a dollar a liter? I looked at the uh, the LSFM big bag and looks like that's priced at a dollar forty one per liter. And if we buy it from the co-ops, they the same. I have or no less? idea. Because that's why I bought it. You'd have to do the math next time you do that. Yeah, I'll check it out. Well, that's good to hear, Spicy Stapler. Oh, it says that the co-op is 1764,000. But I've seen I see a bunch of fertilizer hogs and different buying stations. 1200. Okay. So somebody placed those fertilizer hogs down. That's I've got cool. one. I've got one myself. If it's 1200 per thousand, it's still a 120. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you say the, the silage bills are? Fields 18 and 19 and field 75. Straw bales are right next door, field 20, and then field 83. I hope I can outload them. Uh, yeah. I used a flatbed auto load some of them. I didn't like how it loaded them. So I'm gonna get rid of that flatbed trailer. Speaking of which,
you had to turn on bail mode with auto load, and then all you had to do is drive next to him. Okay, got to have him going for a few hours, coming back later. I'll see you on the stream tonight. Oh, well, Alright. And look at the stream for tonight. Yeah, tonight we're going to be on ATS. Gifts. Oh, yeah. Gifts, of course. Kind of look forward to the ATS Christmas event each year. And with that, folks, I think that's going to do us for the day. Also, here on Farm Sim, we'll be back in five hours to do our ATS live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Time with some of the Mayhem crew. I think some of them are going to be taking off, like I said earlier, for the rest of the year to spend time with friends and fam. But at any rate, we're going to be running gift loads through Texas and the South of ATS. That ought to be fun. Working toward the Christmas event. And then unless Giants Maps drops a map tomorrow, we'll be back here on Chilliwack once again tomorrow night. Doing our Monday live stream uh, for Farm Sim. Rob, Merry Christmas to you too, sir. Christmas is one week away. Hope you all are ready. Hard to believe it's already almost done Jan undone December, done 2022. See what 2023 has in store, but the year two season pass looks very, very promising. And until next time, happy farming. <laughs>